So in case you didn't know, there are actually success coaches here at Western Piedmont. I had no idea about this. I've known Adolfo for, for several years now, and he has been talking about getting into the nursing program for a while. He happened to be in my office when Jenny Benton, the success so success coach, called. I had I had this uh, this email saying that I have a success coach. What is what is this all about? And I said, let's just walk right down and meet her right now. So Tom actually brought Adolfo to my office and said, hey, here's a student, and I think you guys should connect, and I think that you guys can support each other. He came back and said that she's great. You know, I feel like there's so much support here um, at the college. Working with Adolfo, I try to give him the extra support that he needs. He finds that motiv motivation, encouragement through text messages, calls. He stops by before class or before study groups. Right before an exam, I was just a little nervous and I was a little overwhelmed, and so I came to uh, my, success, my success coach's office and I said, hey, look, I have an exam coming up. I'm here at the library almost, it feels like 24 seven, studying, studying, studying. And she just gave me some word, words of encouragement saying that, you know, that, I, that I'm able to do it. It's just uh, a, a matter of really just balancing work with life and school and, and everything like that. And so um, it was just so nice to go to her office and be able to pretty much see or, or have someone there to just push you uh, emotionally and just tell you that you got this, that, that you can do that. And uh, that's something that I feel like every student should have. So late this summer, we decided to have a um, orientation event to have new students come to campus where we could give them tours, provide them with a Western Piedmont planner. And I bonded with a student immediately and her name is Molly. I met my success coach, Miss Jenny, during orientation. She came to me and she was super kind, asked me many questions about who I am and what I wanna do, who I wanna be. Molly said, yes, I wanna be a high school math teacher, but I wasn't really sure if I even wanted to go to school. And I said, oh, you're, kind of, you're here now. Like, you're here now, we're gonna do this thing. Her office is very close to my first two classes of the whole week, so I, come in contact with her two to three times a week. And she's always asking how I'm doing, how I am, how's my classes going, how's things outside of school, if I need any help. Um, there's been a couple times where I've had to voice a few concerns to her and she listened to me with two open ears and she even helped me with a solution and told me that I wouldn't be alone and that she would do something about it because she strongly encourages success and she wants the best for all her students. Um, I introduced her to Tom Frost and said, hey, I've got you a math student here and she's on fire and we need to keep that fire going. I need your help. Molly is currently a student in my Math 171 class and, and she wants to be a math teacher. So I've had a few conversations with her both in and out of the classroom. Jen Benton, the success coach, and I have communicated about that. Without Miss Jenny's help, I truly feel like I would be stuck. I feel like I'd be pretty lost. She's been a major help with guidance and knowing that, knowing what my pathway will be, what it will look like. Um, without her, I would most definitely be lost. I'd be confused. I wouldn't know half the things I know now. Why, why are you at Western Piedmont Community College? Why did you come here? So I have been chipping away and working at reaching my goal for many years. No matter what's happened, I just kept pushing. And I think it all comes down to the support system here at Western Piedmont, the faculty, the staff, I'm talking financial aid, student records, everything. So in December of 2019, I decided that I wanted to go back to school. Um, I had both of my girls finally raised and either in college or graduated from college. And so I wanted to do something different, time for a life change. So I came on campus and I was to meet with um, an instructor who was gonna be my advisor who was unavailable that day. Um, I ended up meeting with the Dean of Arts and Science, Dr. Anne-Marie Radaskiewicz, and she became my success coach within minutes. We bonded, we laughed, we cried a little bit. I told her kind of about my journey and some of the barriers that I had experienced. And she made me feel as if none of that mattered. She said, we're gonna focus on what happens from today and we're gonna move forward. Even though she had a lot on her plate, she finished her associate degree 
And it was a real thrill for me to say her name as she walked, walked across the stage in December of 2021. That was important when we started looking at different advising models that we might wanna to transition to. And I started thinking about how my informal role as a success coach was very helpful to someone like Jenny. And I thought, what if all students could have a success coach like that to help them through the tough times? The research that I read and the trainings that I've been to and the different conferences talk about how important it is just to have that connection. A connection with someone here on this campus, if a student has a connection, they'll feel more comfortable to talk to somebody, they'll feel more comfortable to share, and they'll feel more comfortable to stay here. When you build those relationships, and you get those students comfortable with the faculty and comfortable with me and then the faculty comfortable with me, it just makes that whole family team approach that we're looking for in the QEP model. We actually came up with a model that combines different pieces of other models. So we have a professional staff advisor who is Jordan Lowe. As far as the QEP and everything else in our new advisor model, I work with first year students um, in their social arts and social science specifically within their first 12 to 15 credit hours. But within that time, I learn about their goals. I learn about what they're passionate about. You know, I find their why and why they're here at West of Piedmont and how I can have, help serve them and guide them in that direction. Then we can figure out classes based off of that. We have success coaches, which are typically part of a different kind of model. As part of our QEP model, we are choosing to connect with students, which is mentoring, coaching, and advising. And we put all of these pieces together to come up with Western Piedmont's own version of our advising model, which had all of the things that we think our students need. I have benefited very much from my success coach. She's been a great help for me uh, as part of my, uh, my growth my, to, to, to achieve that, uh, the goal that I've had. It is the environment I have been wanting to be in for years now. So I strive every day to be that role model and that coach and that person that Dr. Anne-Marie Radaskowitz has been to me from day one. And that gives me something to look forward to going to Western especially.